Hey guys, it's Cam here from GreenMedia.Marketing. So today's video is a really fun one. This is gonna be how to make a profile photo that stands out for Instagram, for Facebook, for LinkedIn, and just to stand out across all your different social profiles. If you're a real estate agent, business owner, some sort of coach or entrepreneur, you will want to have a really nice display photo that stands out. Today we're gonna be showing you guys how to make one that stands out using Canva Pro. So if you guys are not already using Canva Pro, it is an amazing software, it's an amazing editing software. It's better than Photoshop because it's easier to use. A beginner can hop right into Canva, pick it up and within minutes understand how to use the dashboard so with that being said I got my screen recorded here got canva open let's get to this video so when making your business profile using canva there's a little bit of a hack or a trick that you can do you can actually click right to this created design right here and you can actually search um, and if you look up profile just type in the word profile you're gonna get Facebook profile frame and then you're gonna get link tree profile image click on this one right here it's going to be a specific size 288 by 288 it's also going to give you this round circle already another fun thing about this is it also gives you templates to play around with already so i really like this because some people aren't creative i don't know about you i'm i'm creative myself but i know a lot of people out there who aren't creative this eliminates that problem for you you can just click this one here go through your uh images quickly and we're going to use this guy here as our example image and as easy as our first time using Canva, we can grab our photo and drag it right into our image here. Usually it will auto switch. Uh, I'm not sure why the why it's not auto switching with that photo. Interesting. Oh, there it is. There we go. And now just with, with a couple of tunes, we can move the image around, make it fit better. Uh, we're actually gonna have to go in and obviously make him fit better with it. You change in all the wording. I normally don't like putting wording in all of these images. Um, so I would stay away from using one of these, but it eliminates all of the creative aspect of it. Um, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a really, really basic one. I liked this template though, is because it starts with that circle. Um, so I really like this design here. So we're going to leave this. Um, we're just going to remove all of this here. We're going to stick with this blue as if this was our brand. Um, and I kind of just want to play around with this here. So what I'm thinking is the first step, now that I have this design just sitting out in the background, we have this photo here. Uh, we're going to delete it. We're going to delete this frame because we don't want it in a frame. We just want a boring old photo just like this one that I pulled off of Google Images. Obviously, it's going to be you. Um, you're going to want to resize it so it fits obviously better in the screen. You're going to click on effects and you're going to click on background remover. You're going to need the Canva Pro version to be able to do that. It gives you amazing uses and it's like costs nothing. I think it's like $9 a month or $9.99. Very useful, very useful, especially when using this content strategy. Um, say you had some weird stuff in your hair, you can click into the eraser and go and fine tune it. We're pretty good here. Uh, we're gonna click done. We're gonna click apply. And we're just gonna make some micro adjustments. Uh, just with the size that he is, he's gonna be wanting to take up most of the image. So we're gonna just make some more micro adjustments here, right there. Um, and you just wanna do basic, basic, basic edits here. So now, we have our blue circle here. I don't think we can actually move this. I don't think it saves with it like that. So we're gonna click done. We're gonna layer this to the back, layer this one to the back. And I think this image thinks that it's supposed to be the back. So we're gonna do that one more time, layer it over top. If you ever have that same problem, just make sure that it's not the back layer. There we go, apply. And now we're just gonna do that one more time. Click done and make sure that it's not going directly to the back. I'm not too sure why it's going directly on the back. I think it's just because of the scale. So we're just gonna eliminate this area because sometimes that does it. Um, sometimes just because the sizing is bigger than the square itself, doesn't allow it to be the front. So now, as you can see, now it works. Um, this is the sizing that we're gonna want. We're gonna scale up a bit and we're gonna trim it down just to work with Canva. That's what we want. So obviously we're gonna wanna put this backwards. And I'm not too sure. So that's how I want my image. I can change this white now to a green. And that's my photo. That's how I would do it 
You can play around with different things. I wouldn't go too complex. I wouldn't add words in. I would just go with my brand colors. I would say stick to two colors. That's three fingers, but stick to two colors, three colors if you want to be cool like me, uh, because we did use navy blue, green, and this white. This green is really just to pull the attention to the image. The blue is the, really the, 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 the brand color that we're going to stick mostly to. Um, and then once we've downloaded that image, it's going to stand out so well. It's going to look super good on social. Um, so this was a quick little tutorial. If you guys didn't know how to do this already, drop a like. If you guys aren't using Canva, click on the link in the description. It is great. If you guys are a real estate agent or an entrepreneur and you want to know how to use Instagram from scratch, we are actually having a free mini course on YouTube. So you can click into my channel right now and go ahead and follow us on the process. Anyways, guys, this has been Cam here from graymedia.marketing. If you're a real estate agent or a business owner and need any advice on how to create content, how to create better videos, or if you want me to create your videos for you, go ahead and send me a message. You can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere really. We're always online. Always happy to help. It's in Camp from Green Media. We'll see you guys later. Until then, peace out.